If ever you doubt the power of digital reach, please consider this free free cap. Flashback 11 years. My bride of 31 years at that time suggested I work out loud while transacting commercial real estate. What the heck does that mean? Simply, put in digital form, those tasks you accomplish daily could help someone searching for how to. Boom. Brilliant. So, I started my location advice blog, which provides the columns you read here. Here's where the reach comes in. Hiding in my inbox last week was a note from Chad Masaker, a commercial real estate strategist with the Pizanishi Group at Compass Commercial, in Palm Beach, Florida. Wow! You see, Chad read a column online from two years ago on the love languages of commercial real estate. If you missed it, you can quickly catch up Opti found Chad's comments column worthy. So from my new digital connection in Florida, here it goes. I feel that there is a little bit of each type in each agent, but I am only two years in as a CRE agent. I'm not sure how the relationship part plays out once I sell a building to an owner operator, and then they have no need for me for years, if ever again. It's not like my IT company in Atlanta, where conversations were ongoing. Definitely hate the legalities and drama archetypes. Talk about people who can't get out of their own way. Probably the arch villains. Here are a few more I would add to your list, good enoughs, incredibly lazy agents who post only the bare minimum information on a listing, making you call them for the info, which half the time they don't have. What do you mean you don't know the clear height of the warehouse you have listed? 